up guys, Kurt here, bringing you a brand new video today on the Matador Tarts channel. Today we're talking about the differences between the 180 Gladiator 3 and the Windmore Blade 5, probably two of the most popular boards um, that are recommended to people throughout darts groups and throughout the darts community. Um, and I have both, I actually have the Windmore Blade 5, just the standard edition, not the dual core, as well as the 180 Gladiator 3. And yeah, I'm just going to compare them both, uh, tell you my personal thoughts on them. I've had them both for about two months now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to compare them both with both pictures and also show you a Lego 501 on each board. As we go into comparison then, we're just going to compare the treble 20s first, as that is probably the most aimed for segment on the board. As you can see on the left, we have the Windmore Blade 5, and the top and bottom wires of the treble 20 are actually thinner than the two outside wires. And um, yeah, that kind of shows that if you're accurate in terms of your vertical height and you don't spray darts to the left or right, you're actually going to have a bit more of an advantage of hitting that treble 20. And as you can see on the right hand side, the 180 Gladiator 3, the wires are actually all the same thickness. They do look a little bit thicker on the 180 Gladiator 3, which might be the case, but really once you're stood 7 foot 9 and a quarter away from the board, you're not actually really going to notice all too much. Not really had too many bounce outs on the treble 20s, and if I have, it's mainly been due to dart deflections or just me throwing a really poor dart. So yeah, both the treble 20 sections on the 180 Gladiator 3 and the Windmore Blade 5 are actually both very, very good. Now we look at the bullseye wise, and as you can see, this is where probably there is the most difference between the both boards. As you can see, the bullseye wire on the Blade 5 is absolutely huge compared to the 180 Gladiator 3, especially the outside ball wire where, the where it starts the 25. Um, yeah, it's really, really thick. I've had loads of bounce outs on the Blade 5 in comparison to my 180 Gladiator 3 where I've had less bounce outs. This may also be due to the sisal in the board. I believe the 180 Gladiator 3 has slightly denser and more sisal uh, for better penetration. At least it says that on the back of the box. And yeah, I would personally say the bullseye wires are actually better on the 180 Gladiator 3. The actual bullseye wire itself, the inner ball, the 180 Gladiator 3 again is slightly thinner, but not all by too much but they both don't protrude too much out of the board. Finally, we're gonna look at the overall board itself. As you can see, I've had both boards for around about the same amount of time, maybe the 180 Gladiator 3 for a couple of weeks or a week less. And yeah, both boards have been rotated pretty regularly. The Windmore Blade 5, I didn't rotate for a couple of weeks, but that's why the 20 or the original 20 section below the Windmore logo is actually a little bit more worn. But as you can see, they both wear pretty much exactly the same. What I will say is the inking on the 180, on the 180 Gladiator 3 is probably slightly worse. Um, it seems really thick and dense, and when you put a dart into the board, it almost like looks like it's cracking through the ink, whereas the Windmill Blade 5, the ink seems like it's soaked into the sisal. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much the photographic differences between the Windmill Blade 5 and the 180 Gladiator 3. Let's go and play two legs on each board, and yeah, see how they both compare. Okay, so this is the Windmill Blade 5. I'm gonna play one leg of 501 on this, and then I'm gonna change boards and play on the Gladiator 3. go 22 darts better than what i've done the other day now what we're going to do is move over to the 180 gladiator 3. okay so now that's up as you can see the gladiator 3 is on the wall we're going to play a leg of 501 with this Nineteen dart leg that time. Today I played much better than what I did the other day when I was testing out my cheap darts. So guys, that is it for the legs of 501. I'm going to talk about the positives and negatives of each board. 
So guys, as you can see on screen, these are the positives and negatives to the Windmore Blade 5 and the 180 Gladiator 3. Obviously a positive for the Windmore Blade 5 is the rotor lock system to be able to get the board in line with the wall so it doesn't wobble is an absolute plus. Obviously it's not a deal breaker, you can obviously get away with using wedges or cardboard like I do on the 180 Gladiator 3. Also the sisal on the Windmore Blade 5 is closer to the wires, a little bit more close to being flush. And also the inking is better on the Windmore Blade 5 as well. Negatives to the Windmore Blade 5, you're looking at a thicker bullseye wire and also personally for me the white outer section or the outer numbers are just a bit too bright for my liking, they are a little bit distracting. And also, as you can see, the positives for the 180 Gladiator. For me, I think it's slightly more longer wearing, although don't quote me to it, it might be different with different types of points. Also, you get a thinner bullseye wire in comparison to the Windmore Blade 5. It might be one of the thinnest bullseye wires other than maybe the Shop Bandit, but I'm not 100% sure. And also, like I said, the numbering wire is also slightly less obvious and less distracting. The negatives, obviously no sort of rotor lock system and also the inking is also a bit thick when you do first get the board. But once you've played with it, the inking does sort of sort itself out. And yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. Leave a comment down below what board you play on and what you think of the board that you play on. And also don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell to be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you next time.